Hi, my name is Miss Andrea. I'm one of the STEM educators here at Children's Museum Piston. And I'm bringing you a project today um, with the generous uh, sponsorship from Hamill Foundation and Wells Fargo. And the project I'm bringing today is uh, making your own water strider. So I don't know if you've seen water striders. I imagine you have because they're all over the, um, the Northern Hemisphere and you can find them just about anywhere there's water. Very cool creatures. They skate across the water and they, they're not actually floating. People think they float, but they're actually on top of the water. We have uh, water tension that is caused by water cohesion. So water molecules, they like each other and they like to hold on tight. And so they'll hold on tight all around them. But on the top of the water, there is no water molecules above. And so what those water molecules on the top do is they hold on to each other super tight so that they form this bond on the top of the water, almost like a skin. And the water striders, they sit on top of this. So water striders, they're able to stay on top of the water for uh, three reasons. One is they're very small, they don't weigh a lot. Two, because their legs distribute their weight. And the third one is a secret. They have water repellent legs. So they have, um, their legs are able to repel water and they also are able to attract water, mo I mean air molecules. So when they get dipped down, they're able to pop back up. I'm going to do a project today that kind of goes along with what a water strider does, except for the third thing, because you can't do that. So the water striders, um, they have six legs. They're not, a lot of times people see them and they think they're spiders, but they're actually insects, so they have six legs. They use the two back legs um, for balance and to steer, and they use the two front legs to eat their prey. So you will see water striders, the middle legs will go back like a rowboat, and they'll scoot across. So first I want to show you a little uh, project or a little experiment to show you how we can float a needle on top of the water. You say, well, a needle is more dense than water, so how can it float on the surface? And that is because of surface tension in the same way that a water strider can. Okay, so we're going to try the little experiment to see if we can get the needle to float on top of the water. And you can actually take the needle and put it in the water and have it float if you do it gently enough. The problem is that all parts of the needle need to touch the water at the same time. If one piece of the needle hits first, then it will break the surface tension and it will fall through. So what I've done is I've gotten a, a napkin, a piece of napkin. You can also use a piece of toilet paper. Um, that'll work just as well. And the trick is to, is to lower the needle down. It has to be completely on the tissue paper. Lower down to the water uh, gently and then push the toilet paper away or the paper towel away. And then you see we've got a needle floating in the water. And again, that is because of the water molecules holding on real tight to each other at the surface so that the needle is sitting right on the skin. But it doesn't take much. If you barely touch it, it'll sink real fast. Okay, so in order to do, to make your little water strider, you need a couple of things. You need wire. So there's um, this kind of wire I have hanging around because I do a lot of experiments. Not a lot of people have that kind of wire hanging around. So uh, I always, when I'm throwing away Christmas lights, I always cut some of the wires off and keep them because they're really good for when you need wire and you don't have any. So you can take a Christmas light wire and you can take, um, these are wire strippers. You can put it on there and strip off the plastic. If you don't have these, you can use scissors. Now. Science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, and so you want to get an adult helper for this. Um, this kind of wire, you also want to be careful because sometimes it'll poke you. So I took my wire strippers, and I stripped off the, the rubber on this, and I was left with these little wires. Then I would just cut these off and pick three of them, because remember, a water strider has six legs, so you need three pieces of wire. Um, I also found when I was playing around with this, I was trying to make it easier and think, what do people have at their house? So people have a lot of times twist ties, bread ties, um, the ones that are on your trash, um, with your trash bags. And I made some water striders with these wires and they actually work a lot easier. So if you don't have wire at home and you have some of these twist ties, you can do it with the twist ties. So I'm going to do it with this one just so that you can kind of get the idea. You take your three twist ties, they've got to all be the same um, size, and you're going to twist them in the middle so that you have three legs on one side and three legs on the other. 
Now, all the legs have to sit uh, on the water at the same time because if one goes in, it will break the surface tension and your um, water strider will sink. So, take it and just give it a little bit of a bend. You can kind of like a little bit of a U and then check the legs to make sure that they are all sitting right on the top. So that was pretty easy. That's a pretty easy way to do the water strider. I believe these are all sitting on the top. I'm gonna to put it in the water and see if we can get it to float. Okay, so now my little water strider's done and I've checked to make sure all the legs are touching. So I'm gonna take it and very gently drop it into the water. And the water tension is able to hold it up. I can even get it to move around a little bit and it's, it's not sinking. So this is one easy way to make water strider. I also made some other models using the other twist ties that I had. Whoops, now see how the legs went down in that one? They were not balanced. And just so that you know that the thinner wire works, I made some with the thinner wire. So this is the red wire. And I gave this one a little face. I figured it was light enough that I might be able to put a little face to it. So there's this little face. And then this is the Christmas light wire and my little striders are sitting on top. So, very easy way to make a water strider, have some fun with water uh, tension, and learn some science at the same time. Well, I hope you enjoy making your water strider. I had a lot of fun uh, making this project and I love water striders. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. It's one of my favorite holidays and I will be signing off now. <laughs>